Ayo crew, how are you? Welcome back to another day of Animal Crossing New Leaf. How's everybody doing today? Let's check out our mail. What do we got? Two letters. First one is from the campground, which is uh, what we ordered yesterday from Blanca. And then, of course, we have a letter from Bengal saying, How are you anyways? I got this super cute stationery. I just had to write you a letter right away. Uh, Want to dress up fancy and go out somewhere with me? Let me know, Bengal. <gasps> Bengal wants to go on a date? What? What? Am I allowed to do that? I feel like that's a... Uh... I feel like there's some laws against dating animals, but I would, I'll would i still go get a cup of coffee with her. A cat tower. Oh yeah, that is what we bought. Alright, so, what do we have in town today? Well, we could check to see if we have any hybrid flowers around town. You guys did let me know that... Oh, Stitches wants to talk. What's up, dude? Oh, hey, uh, so... Uh, wait. How light do you keep your room when sleeping? Uh, I don't know, like the middle? So you like a teeny bit of light, huh? Oh, uh, I like that too. It makes everything so chill, Stefan. Okay. Random. I was hoping for a public works project, but whatever, Stitches. Still appreciate it. Oh my god, these flowers are going crazy right now. Um, okay, so what was I saying? I forgot. Uh, uh, shit, what was I gonna say? God damn it, Stitches, you screwed me up. We're gonna check for hybrid flowers, uh, things and stuff. Oh, you guys were telling me that hybrid red roses don't actually say hybrid on them. So I don't know how I'm ever gonna know if they're actually a hybrid or not. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, I, the people are saying you just have to guess. I think that's pretty shitty. Pretty shitty if I do say so myself. Sahara's in town today. There are some white roses up there. I'm gonna steal these white roses. Just so we can cover up the rest of the ones uh, that are above the plaza. I want to make sure that we have all the pathways outlined in flowers first, and then after that, I don't care where they grow. Uh, it's just I want to make sure that our town is at least fully covered. I do want to add um, like certain flowers to certain areas. So like all my roses in one area, all my pansies in one area, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. That's way too much work. It would take me like three hours to redo it all. Like, it was bad enough having to put down these patterns that I hope you guys like because I don't feel like tearing them up. Oh, hey, Nana. Hey, Nana. What up? Oh, good morning. Oh, looks like the beginning of another beautiful day, Popo. So, how can I help you? How are you? Ah, oh, I'm never bored in Ulysses. Uh, there's nothing special is going on. Oh, wait, I'm never bored in Ulysses, even when nothing special is going on. I spend my time researching all the bugs, fish, fossils in town. They're all so kind of, there's also, wait, I don't know. I can't read. Have I ever told you guys that? I have like a second grade reading level, if that. Um, any new roses grow in today? Survey says nay. Feels bad, man. Eh, whatever. Someday we will get more flowers. But for now, we'll toss these ones down. We'll toss these down as well. Whoop, we are missing a flower. Um, anything up here that I need to do or take care of? I need to get a pathway for maple. I think I'm gonna do like a little wooden path that comes off of here and then goes like that. Like, so she has her own little tile. Hmm. I'll have to do that after today. Okay, well, I guess we can go sell all of our stuff. Okay, thank God that wasn't the bell rock. Actually, I'm gonna look for the bell rock. I feel lucky today. I think it's actually gonna be a gem rock. Oh, nope, it's a bell rock. Hey, at least it's a place that actually can get bells from. Instead of it like, oh, you weren't good enough. Okay, eh. Little bit of pocket change to pay some bills. Oh, you guys did suggest a really cool idea for the, uh, for the yield sign, actually. Because remember, I was like, I don't know if I want to do the yield sign. I don't really see any point to having it. You guys were like, what if, what if you put it near the railroad crossing? So we put it like here-ish somewhere. My concern is, I don't know if I can put it that close to the train. But if I could put it like right on this corner, that would be really cool. Um, or right there. Just like, uh, hold on, be cautious, there's a train. I don't know, I thought it was a good idea. We'll probably try it out today. We will try it out, because I did ask you guys for a clever idea, and you guys gave me one, so I can't complain. Um, 
I have 200,000 bells on me. Cat tower, exercise ball, tacos, and scattered papers. Okay. That is all actual stuff I need. You know, I wonder. The scattered papers. I wonder if I can refurbish those to have a different picture on them. Instead of like that poorly drawn, uh, the poorly drawn car on them. I could do my own thing. Classic carpet. Uh, I don't think I have this for the classic set. I'm gonna buy it, because I am working on the classic set, so we may as well have the the flooring as well. What's this, kitty carpet? Cheese floor! I already have the cheese floor. Thank you, though. We could do Sahara today as well. Uh, the Alpine wall. Uh, I'm gonna buy it. It's kind of It's kind of cool. And what are you? The common wall. I don't think I need that. Understood. Please take another look around. I... We already have the uh, sleek sofa, by the way. So we don't have to worry about that. Two play coins. I can handle it. Bring a lucky ticket in exchange. And what is this? Uh, Agent KK. I don't think I have this yet. Let me see. Whoop. Whoop. I guess we won't be listening to it. Shit. Sorry. Okay. So we can open this up. And see how lucky are we today. Survey says, let's see here. Uh, those who slip are often just given a chance to appreciate the ground. That sounds like a banana peel. It doesn't, I don't think that's the triple banana. Is that a single banana? Uh, I got a lucky ticket. Oh, so exchange for a prize, correct? Hmm, please show me the lucky ticket that you'd like to trade in. This one. What are you going to tell me, Fambalamba? Ah, let's see, you're number 48. Ah, congratulations. It's the triple bananas. This is the third triple bananas that I've got. Ah, so we have nine bananas now. I could literally line an entire back wall in bananas if I really wanted to. Uh, hold on. Let me sell some of this crap. Just so I have room for a uh, leaf. How can I help you? I would like to sell. Thank you. By the way, guys, uh, so I was having PC problems last night. I think I fixed it, but it was so weird. So... I would get like, you guys know the command prompt window that pops up where it's like black? It's like a black and then the white code pops up and then it normally disappears. So I had that randomly popping up, but it'd come up for like half a second and then disappear. And I'm like, uh, that's not good. So I did some PC updates. I think I'm okay now. My other option was, and this is what I love, Windows is like, well you could do a fresh start. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, you'll keep all your files and stuff, but you'll lose some of your apps. And I'm like, well, I don't use any of the apps, like, ever. Like, fuck Windows apps. I don't use them. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. I'm like, I'll lose some stuff, but nothing major. And then I realized, what they mean by apps, they mean all your programs you've downloaded. So I would lose XSplit, which is what I use for recording. I would lose all of my games I've downloaded. I would lose all of my Adobe products. And I'm just like, you know, I think I'm gonna pass. I appreciate appreciate the offer, but I do not feel like going back in time and losing all of that stuff that I've downloaded. But I mean, if I keep having the issue, I'll probably have to do it, and I would probably miss a day of Animal Crossing, which would suck, because we're at like day 88, I think, without me missing a day. Um, but yeah, I was just like, God, please, no, please. I don't want to do all that. What's this? The sporty vibe of the rap shirt. Uh, no. I've just I've never seen that before. Um, those are baseball and blue jogging shorts. I already have all those. Cool. Thanks, dude. Well, you're not a dude, but thanks anyways. Hey, I didn't know you were here. Um, I'm gonna buy this. Ah, the war bonnet. I'm just gonna grab this for the collection because um, I believe that I have the chief's jacket so if we can just get the the pants then we'll be all set I don't know if there's a, any boots for it I'm actually surprised they're able to have that in this game because in American culture like I don't know calling things like a chief's hat or that kind of stuff it seems like there's this like racial whatever you want to go with it and I'm like well shit I never thought of that 
What? Some heart print tights? Yeah, I'm buying this. Sweet. Now I can cover my legs in beautiful pink hearts. I'll probably just give those to Annie, to be honest. But they're cute. I couldn't pass them up. I'm like an impulse buyer. Which, by the way, so... I was thinking the other night, I'm like, I'm gonna buy new sheets. Which, I find odd that as an... I guess I'm considered an adult now. Because my idea of what do I want to do with my money is buy new sheets. But I'm also thinking about buying a down comforter. Which is, for those of you guys who don't know, it's like duck feathers and that kind of shit. But, uh, I don't know. My problem is I have a doggo. And I know doggo is going to like get hair all over it. So then I'd have to get a cover for it. Next thing I know, it's like $150 for everything I want for my bed. And I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to pass for now. I appreciate the idea. I'm going to do it at some point, but... I don't feel like dropping $150 on a fucking bed set right now. Which is really not that important to me. Well, I mean, you know. It's not overly important. Alright, we'll toss those there. Get that circling around. Now we can check. I should check retail. I should also check the police station. We need to check the RV. Um, we need to... There's something else I wanted to do. What was it? You remember, chat? A t-shirt. There's a t-shirt here. I should buy these pitfall seats too. Oh, uh, I think you're looking at the picnic shirt. Yeah, we'll take it home. I definitely do not need a picnic shirt, but we'll make sure that we grab everything so that new items can be spawning in here. Pitfall seat, I'll take it. And last but not least, whatever this is. It is another pitfall seat. I love how I'm like, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Wait, I don't have room? Oh shit, I don't have room. Hold on, can I use this? What is the point of having a cabinet if I can't use it, Booker? Like, oh, you're a silly doge. A silly doge indeed. Eh, whatever, that pitfall seed can stay there forever. Alright, to retail. By the way, we did drop off a... What was it? The cabin? No, it wasn't the cabin set. The classic set? That we are getting redone in white, so we'll see what that looks like today, too. What did you bring in? Uh, I got you some socks. Oh, wait, I was going to give that to Annie. The war bonnet, the picnic shirt, uh, the pitfall seed. Sure. That's all I really had, I guess. Start crunching numbers right away. Well, then I could probably part with 365 bells. Well, fuck you, too, Reese. Okay, so we got the beaver again. Uh, that looks okay, I guess. You know, it actually wouldn't look bad with my princess set. It's like a ghetto way to do that. Hey, Nana. Thank you. Come again. I bye. I swear Nana's following us around today. Okay, well, let's go check and see what the RV has. And then from there, we will... What else do I need to do? Retail RV... Retail RV, and then I checked the police station, so I think we're good. Alright, I don't need any of that. And this looks like, if I had to guess, this is going to be Nat, which I don't believe we've met yet. But Nat is the bug-catching guy. Oh my god, his room is freaking adorable. Hey, what's up, Nat? Hello, hello. Uh, pardon me. Okay, cool. So let's see what his options are. The jungle wall, which looks really cool. The jungle floor. Oh, I wish I could buy both of these. Um, the chair, the leaf bed, the pile of leaves, the potted ivy, the sparrow's nest, and the sprout table. Tree standy. Um, well, I don't have the points to do it, but if I did, I'd get the jungle floor and the jungle wall and start to make a room with, like, this leaf set. But... Either way, he's got a really cool room. I am a sucker for his walls and floor. But either way. What's up, Harvey? Boom, ba -dum, boom. And you guys were saying I should just do the initiatives, which is good. I had no intention of hacking because there's this... Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, you can actually hack 3DSs. Um, 
but the problem with that is if you go online with them, it can actually, what was I doing? I was going to look at something. I was going to check my initiatives. Um, fashion forward. One thing you make, hang an item of clothes right on your wall. Okay. Words aren't enough to say it with a gift. Send someone in your town a letter with a little something extra. Look fabulous. What's more fun than look? Okay, I have a lot of things, but a few. Hair salon. Wait. But get a new do at the hair salon for a coupon shaped reward. Fortune favors the brave. Okay. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's go get our hair done. Because our hair is covered right now anyways. We'll go get our hair done. That'll give us the three coupons. And then we can order the flooring and the walls. Okay? We're going to do that. So that we can get the jungle set. Because it looks really cool. I know some of you guys are going to be like, eh, it's kind of lame. But I think it looks nice. So we are going to go to Shampoodles. I haven't been here in God knows how long. Because I really liked my hair. But we're wearing a hat. So it doesn't matter. You can't see my hair anyways. I saw it. Oh, hey. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Uh, brought a new makeup machine. You notice it when you step through the door. This new machine offers the latest in beauty enhancement technology of colored contacts. Now you can offer even more dynamic makeovers. Just go to world, sugar. All right, well, let's try the eye contact thing. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I don't know if I can do contacts and hair on the same day. So we're just going to do hair because I need the coupons. Hairstyle. Oh, so we're going to have to update your look for new hairstyle. Then just leave it to me. My hairstyle package costs 3,000 bells. Sure. All right, then. I'll just hold on to your belongings for a moment. Okay, I wonder what you'd like to change. Uh, who you'd like to be first? Tell me all over what you're looking for. Uh, casual. I see. Extremely casual, then. A casual mare. I love it. Sounds very approachable. There's a different kind of casual, though. The ideal loose uh, and wavy or more of a stylish side? Loose and wavy. Oh, I see. Something loose. Then I have just one more question for you. Loose style, you're thinking uh, charming or a laid back guy, or is a guy who's cute, girly fashion, ain't afraid of showing it? Uh, laid back looseness. Ah, oh, I see. So you'd like your hair to be loose and lazy then. Okay. I can totally picture the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, let's pick out a new color. What kind of color do you need? Uh, let's just go with a natural color. Uh, black and blonde, what shade do you think? Uh, really right in the middle, I think, would be brown. Your choice of color so far. Feel pretty good about it. Ah, understood. Now I know exactly what you want. Let's start styling. All right, I'm hoping that it's still the same hairstyle, just gonna be brown. It worked. It's not as dark brown as I wanted, but it'll work. Okay, cool. So that should give us the coupons. We're good to go. Later. You ever notice that her hair looks like a set of tits? Is that just me? All right. And let's go get our meow coupon so we can order our jungle set. Wonder if there's any other ones I could do real quick. I can hang up a piece of clothing on the wall because that'll give us one more coupon. Um, I can't do the diving thing because I don't have a diving set. And then what else was it? Oh, it was send a letter. I mean, I guess I could send a letter real quick. We could send a letter like stitches or something. Or maple. Um, okay, so let's grab a piece of clothing. We'll grab a t-shirt real quick. If I have any, there's one. What is that? The HHT. Okay, sure, that works. Um, let me put away some of this crap that we don't need. Oh my god, we have so many fossils. I'll take them in at some point, I promise. Uh... Tacos. What is this? Classic bookcase, Imperial Pot. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here because this is also whatchamacallit stuff. What is this? The brown bar tea. Put those in there. Triple bananas. Ranch chair. Sure. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. And. Oh my god, there's so much music. Okay, so let's just go toss this on a random wall. Stitch. God damn it, Stitches! Stitches, I was just about to send you a letter. What's up, dude? Why do you always pop into my house? Now I can't put something on the wall. Yo, Dr. R. Yeah, he started calling me Dr. R, by the way. 
Aha, uh -huh, it's time to surprise Stitch's home inspection. I had a snack a little while ago. That said, I wouldn't be mad if you offered me something to eat. To make up for dropping in like this, I brought you a men's toilet as a gift. Really? <sighs> okay, Stitches. Got a big couch in here. Uh huh. I bet it's perfect for laying around and eating ice cream. The couch is so big, I bet you could fit a gigantic ice cream sundae in front of it. You have a good life. You know that, Dr. R? Yes, I do. Your house is so sweet. I love your sin style. Okay, you're just gonna keep saying the same thing. Stitches, I got stuff I need to do. You practice flips, it'd be a waste to be better than just big enough. Uh, is your modern chair a uh, comfy chair? It's a good place to practice napping. Please! Leave my house. I know I could go out, but I'd feel bad. I'd rather get through all of his dialogue and then he'd leave. Don't worry, I won't peek inside your wardrobe. I know it's bad manners, stuffing. I had a snack a little while ago. Okay, I get it, you've eaten. Get the fuck out of my house! Oh my god, please, Stitches. I, I'm giving him three more tries. If he doesn't leave, I'll go outside. One. Up. Two. And... Three. Four. God damn it, Stitches! Get the fuck out of my house, please! Oh my god. Please go away. Oh my god, please. I, that, there's no pros that play 3DS other than Pokemon. Yeah, I know we're best friends. Please go, though. Okay, I'm leaving. Fuck you, Stitches. You're taking too long. Wait, Dr. R, if you're going somewhere, let me head out, too. I hope I can visit my place sometime. Thanks, dude. Okay, I understand that, like, it's supposed to be a little mechanic, like, the villager comes and visits your house. Uh, that's cool, right? That's that's a cool feature. But he shouldn't be repeating the same thing, you know? Like, it should have a certain amount of dialogue that you can share with your villager, and then they leave. It shouldn't tell me I had a snack before I came, like, came over seven fucking times. That's, that's not a thing. Ugh. I love this game, but it definitely... Definitely has its flaws, and that is one of them. Uh, we'll just display this on the wall real quick. There we go. And let's go grab. I don't have any stationery. Am I seriously gonna have to buy stationery, or is there some laying around? Hold on, let me see. Looking for stationery so that we can send a letter to Stitches, so that actually I'll probably send one to Maple, so that we can. Get that other initiative done so I can buy the bed as well. Okay, it doesn't look like I have any stationery. I guess we have to make a trip to the, whatchamacallit, that one place, the store, I think is what it's called. I know, that's hard to believe, but uh, the store is where we are going. Okay. I love that I can run in my town. I definitely think the pathways were worth it. They are kind of weird considering they're covered in cherry blossom petals when there's no cherry blossoms, but I don't know. I thought cherry blossoms looked cool. I'm weird though. Who knows? Ah. All right, let's grab this. The polka dot paper. Four sheets for 160 bells. Sure. Thank you so much for your purchase. Anytime, fan blamba. Oh, you can buy unlimited amounts of paper. Today I learned. All right, uh, let's write a letter real quick to Maple. Do I have anything in my bags I could even give her? No. I could give her a men's toilet. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> let's see if there's any clothes that I could give her. The thing is, if you give them clothes, they have a chance at wearing it, and I don't know if they can wear dresses. Oh, welcome. I saw it, dude. Uh, can Maple wear a dress? You shopping for a present? I see you eyeing the polka dot knit dress. Uh, sure. Okay, cool. Oh, we got another mannequin! Let's fucking go. Notice you bought a lot of stuff from us. You probably have a bunch of clothes. I hope this comes in handy. We officially got our third mannequin. Cool. So we only need one more mannequin, and that is from Gracie. Which, uh, that's gonna be a little while. But, it's pretty neat. Okay. 
So let's write a letter to Maple real quick to give her uh, this beautiful dress. Um, so we're gonna go write a letter to Maple. Uh, and let's go with, uh, hey, dear Maple. Oh wait, it already says dear, so I guess I don't need to say hey. Uh, I really hope you're uh, enjoying you'll listen exclamation point uh, I hope we can become best friends cool uh, I hope you're enjoying you listen I hope we can become wait I need to add a period at the end of that and period there we go all right this is why I don't write letters on stream or on video it takes forever um, and let's give her that dress and we will go mail this okay I could write letters to other people, but it just takes too long on video, so we won't worry about it. Hey, Pelly. Uh, I would like to... Wait, why, why am I at the ATM? The fuck? Hey, Pelly. Can you send this for me? Uh, send mail. Sure thing. Who would you like to send your mail to? Person in Yulison. Ah, just drop anything you want in the red box. And bloop. There you go. All right. I'll send this mail off at once. Thanks for choosing the Yulison post office. All right. So I believe we took care of all the initiatives that we could do without diving because I don't have a wetsuit. So we should have hopefully six coupons, I think. Because I believe it was... 3, 2, and 1? Or maybe it was 2, 2, and 1. Hmm. The world may never know. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> oh, I ran through my flowers. Fuck! Dang it. I did not mean to do that. What's up, Stitches? Bye, Stitches. And... I'm a coupon! Oh, hey, welcome. This is your cat machine. Receive coupons. We got six coupons. Hell yeah. Thanks for using your local cat mart. Anytime, cat. All right, let's go get that jungle set that I wanted. I should extend that path to here. I really should. It wouldn't hurt. All right, Nat. What's up, buddy? I wish there was wallpaper that had that design on it. I know I could make my own wallpaper with it, but that'd be kind of cool to have like a buggy wallpaper. Okay, so we are going to order the jungle wall. We are gonna order the jungle floor. And do I wanna order the leaf bed or the sprout table? I kinda wanna get the sprout table because I can put stuff on it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I could get the bed. I think the bed's really cute. It's just the table makes more sense because I can put stuff on it to show off in that room. So that's what we're going to do. So sweet. Those will all be coming in tomorrow. Well, that took care of that. Um. Well, I think the last thing I want to do, I know today's video is a little bit longer. I apologize for that. But we're going to see about putting in that yield sign. I don't know how close I can get it to the train tracks, though. Excuse me, Mr. Chiaz. Oh, it's going to kill some of the bushes up there, too. Eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Isabel. Can we put in that yield sign, please? Hey, Mayor. Uh, is there something that I can help you with? Public works projects, plus and thank you. Happy to help. What would you like to work on? Start a new project. Ah, here are the current requests from the townspeople. All right, so is this it? The yield sign. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Yield sign. 
Oh, would you like to start the work on the yield side project? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, let's go find a place to build. All right, so we're going to go put this up by the train tracks. Hopefully, I can actually put it there. Fingers crossed. Okay, Mayor, please lead the way to where you like to put the yield sign. And we're off, Isabel. And no, this isn't concerted date, Isabel. Don't get your hopes up. This is work. Business. I should put in more street lamps, too. Okay. Um, we'll do it right... Can I put it, like, right here? Uh, yes, Mayor. Is this about where you'd like to place the yield sign? What do you think? Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I think it would work perfect. Uh, we'll need to remove some of the plants and other buried things around. Probably like something like this. Hmm. I wonder if I can go one more over to the left, or if she won't let me. Let's find out. If I can't, it's no big deal. Um, but I'm going to try one over and see. Yes, Mayor, is this about where you play? Yes, yes, yes. What do you say? Uh, let's see. It's just too close to something else. Okay, so we can't do it there. So we will go right about here. It'll be in the same spot. We're going to lose four bushes, though. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. I think it'd be perfect. I'll oh, we'll move the plants buried underground. Sure. Looks something like this. Whammo bammo. Cool. What do you think? Yeah, we'll put it there. All right. So that is done and taken care of. We now have our yield sign near our uh, train tracks. Um, I'm going to look up and see who suggested that, by the way, because that was a really good idea, and I want to make sure that you get credit. So, it was... Dude, uh, the yield sign might look cool next to the train crossing from Livid Evil. So, Livid, thank you so much, dude, for your suggestion. I will add that in, but thanks for giving me a good reason for it. So, let's pay this bad boy off right away. Oh, good morning. Uh, we can treat the campaign yield. Yeah, 43,000 bells. Jesus, that's an expensive sign. So, 43,500. Boom. Paid off in full. Please look forward to the completed project. A nice ado. Ah, oh, the project donation goal has been met. Well, guys, I know today's video went a little bit long, but I guess we will call it here. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on another day in Yulis. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to join the crew. And uh, I think that covers everything. I will be uh, posting a new video tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you continue to have a good day. And I will see you then. I will put up our jungle room tomorrow too. Peace, guys.